Good advice. Blake Appleton's story, his battle with cancer and his dream of meeting Tim Tebow inspired people across the country. Fox 31 Denver took the lead and coordinated Blake's trip from Orlando to meet Tebow before yesterday's Broncos game. There was no large organization behind this, just one determined reporter who was inspired to make a young boy smile and forget about his health for just a moment. Deborah Takahara is here now to tell us how this all came together. Well, Ron, we first heard about Blake's story after he got a call from his hero, Tim Tebow. I knew then we just had to make Blake's dream of meeting Tebow in person a reality. But with doctors giving him just six months to live, we would have to work very fast. And we were quickly overwhelmed with people and local businesses wanting to help make this possible. Blake, nice to see you, buddy. Blake Appleton's meeting with Tim Tebow was the chance of a lifetime. You be rude as on? Good, man. That's awesome. So, so good to see you. But it was no chance meeting. It took people from Florida to Colorado to make it happen. At every turn, people volunteered their time and services, hoping to make Blake smile and forget about his cancer, if only for a while. It was a very touching story. Uh, it, it's something that just touched all of us here at Sports Authority. You know, we were honored by the opportunity to be part of doing something for this young man. Sports Authority donated a Tebow jersey. Enterprise Rent-A-Car offered the family a car for their stay. Hello, buddy. Welcome to Denver. How you doing? And a warm welcome to Colorado. <laughs> Obermeyer Skiwear heard of Blake's trip and wanted to make sure the family stayed warm. Now you can go play in the snow. And the surprises just kept coming. KeyBank wanted to give you some spending money oh, wow. to use while you're here. Fox 31 offered Blake and his family tickets to the game. Sunset Limo service provided red carpet treatment. Denver police officers volunteered their time to escort Blake to and from the game and stayed at his side the entire time. The sky was the limit on Blake's first trip to Colorado. Sky Venture taking Blake indoor skydiving. It just makes our day. I mean, it was the last day of the year, so it's going to make my year. This will be it. It'll be hard to top this. And how do you top all that? <laughs> well, for an eight-year-old boy from Florida. Anybody else? You had to veil to see snow for the very first time. Knowing that it, it may be his last time doing this and seeing snow ever, um, we're, we're really thrilled to be a part of that. It's great. It's something that I'll be able to cherish. The effort that started with a little boy's wish to meet his football hero quickly snowballed into an outpouring of support that helped Blake create memories that will last forever. <laughs> No one wanted any recognition for helping make any of this possible, but we would like you to know all the people who pitched in to pull this off. We would also like to thank Chopper's Bar and Grill in Cherry Creek, Katie Mullen's Restaurant downtown, and the Chop House. The Zoo and the Denver Museum of Nature and Science are hosting Blake tomorrow, and then he will head home to Florida on Wednesday. And he is exhausted, but not once did he stop smiling yeah. and laughing. And that Isn't was it amazing when everyone is touched by a certain story and they all pitch in without being having their arm twisted to bring a no. little joy into somebody's oh, life? Oh, people were so generous, and it made it really easy to pull this off. Yeah, and you know, if Tim Tebow never scores another touchdown, he scored his, pretty good this weekend. Yeah, his yeah. heart's in the right place. Yeah, absolutely. And that will never change. And by the way, nice job. Oh, thank you. Nice job. Way it made the holidays yeah, that's what, much more special this year. That's what the holidays are all about. Yeah. Thanks, Deb. Sure. New year, new you.